we're back in Hilton for something rather interesting. Well, it's not exactly Hilton. Wait, no, it is actually the Hilton. <laughs> oh! Let's face it, you are better off at the Hilton, what do you know? Hello! Oh my god, it's somebody from the Playboy Mansion. Look at them bunny ears. <laughs> <laughs> you seriously can't tell me those are bunny ears. I swear I saw that the first time I, I freaking I met Opera. Wasted. Oh, spoiler, sorry. <laughs> But, sorry to name the girl before she's properly introduced herself, but... And she has three eyes! Oh my god, Star Wars in three! I mean, uh, me Metal Gear. <laughs> you do remember that you promised to tell me whatever I wanted Yeah, I it's funny, her, 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 her appearance is slightly different in her portrait than in her sprite. Right. That never happens anywhere else in this game, obviously. <laughs> yeah, considering that, yeah, she, even in uh, the original, um, the second story, like it wasn't him. in her artwork. Uh, nope. For some weird I've reason. So, oh, it's fish. Hmm. <coughs> oh, dead end for her. Oh, and he's out. <laughs> <laughs> nice so commentary, Claude. Well, not that I was expecting very much. Oh, well. Oh, her three eyes look so sad. I might as well try asking you guys next. Have any of you seen a man with three eyes? Sure, three yeah. eyes, a couple legs, yeah. several dozen noses, anything weird with Igni joking matter O's nose. Three eyed man with whip brings death. <laughs> or he would. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Wait, you saw him? Yep. I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. It'd be hard to not notice three eyes, yeah. When? Where did you see and yet nobody he here bats an eye. Whoa, calm down, calm down. Ago, uh, near Cross Castle. But seriously, no. So, seriously, no way bats an eye to the fact that she has three eyes. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> I should at least. Kind of funny, considering you think something of that would My be, I don't Opera. know, a really I'm obvious standout Claude. difference. Then again, I'm people were felt pull here once. I guess it's just the whole, whole that whole bar stereotype. Again, all kinds. We get all more. kinds here. That's you know, <laughs> even when we go to the king, <laughs> he doesn't bat an eye. Is drinking contest an army contest? She would have won easily. Uh, she might have been screwed because her only weapon is a gun and she can't bring her own weapon, so. Yes, Opera Vectra from the um, home planet of Tetragen Tetragenesis. Being a Tetragenia, yes. Yep, and yeah, uh, she, 20, 23 years old, born August 24th. Her weapon of choice, a ray gun. Yeah, I don't think you're going to find too many armories of liqueur that make those. I think even Gamgee might go, what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to make a joke on that bad joke, Adam. So sorry. <laughs> no, 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 sorry, it's the sandwich I'm eating. Anyway, no. Voiced by Marie Shell in Second Story and Nikki Kendo in Second Evolution. Just for references, folks. Of course. Ooh, c uh, cut ahead and a, well, without transition, but still, cut ahead. Of course, I mean, who's, I don't want to travel the map again. Editing, it's amazing. Yeah, why, yeah, why did it take me so long to realize that? Good evening, friends. <laughs> anyway. anyway, what's interesting about Opera is that she's a noble woman. Man, he's got nobility in his in his, in his harem. Good lord. Yeah. He, I guess he is Tinchy then. Good god. Jesus. <laughs> Blonde freaking Tinchy. Okay, actually, Tinchy looks like. Just, Eddie Bows. We've come here today, Your Majesty, to consult with you. By the way, if you recruit Opera, you cannot recruit Ashton. Oh, and what they're mutually mean? exclusive, and that's too bad. Has oh, well. a woman with three eyes visited you in the past? Hmm. A third eye? A woman with three eyes, indeed. I just concluded an audience with her, in fact. Oh, really? She came to ask me about a meeting I had with a three-eyed man several days prior. Hmm. A man? Quite so. He had come seeking permission oh, we're going to there again. the mountain palace. It's just a popular hangout hotspot. It's got great Wi-Fi is what it is. <laughs> Yes, it's and that doesn't make sense. It's inside of a mountain. You think mountains be interfering, but no. It's been tended to. Mm -hmm. by and like with uh, Ashton, this one is mandatory to get a, a party member. Well, actually, maybe not mandatory, but we still got to go there to recruit her. Yeah. But anyway, in terms of her personality, aristocratic, opera enjoys shopping, though she has an adventurous side. But she even does battle in a regal dress. She likes handling projectile weapons, particularly guns and firearms, as well as operating and repairing vehicles. Tetra Genia dis dislikes compromising and macho oh, men, but likes men that are cool, intelligent, and sexy. That you'll need to be careful. Monsters have taken also, in the caves she is, of course, a long-range fighter, and Thank you very she, much, um, of her only real downside, she's one of the slowest characters. 
Honestly, I may have may, I may have ups and downs to personality, but I will I I contend she is a great character to use in battle. It's funny since she can create her own special arts with um, machinist. Personally, uh, what I like to use in battle is uh, Alpha on one and Healing Star. Thank you, Your Majesty. Or if you max out Healing Star, oh hell, that's effective healing. Yeah, Alpha on one or Tracking Plasma is known in this one. Oh, I forgot about that. Sorry, you used to use it in the PS1 version. Uh huh. And uh, yep. So. Granted, I still don't know what Alpha on one would, would mean, so it's a good thing I changed it, but yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, she could also create her own weapons through Machinist, because she actually just inserts um, cartridges into her kaleidoscope ray gun. Uh, m oh. uh, much like with uh, uh, with Priestess, it's real fun sometimes doing that. Mm -hmm. and, I, and Stubborn game. <laughs> yeah, and oh yeah, and of course, uh, uh, kaleidoscope, kaleidoscope. Tomato to model. I can't tell what pronunciation oh, I'm not is. Even I don't know what a pronunciation is. Anyway, oh well, you oh. know what? Already, I'm using um, group prizing to my advantage. Though I will say, no matter how much trouble I may have trying to make their uh, their uh, their, their, their killer arts, a uh, killer or a killer move, special arts, killer move, special arts, killer moves. Either way, or the weapons, I still don't. Uh, I still won't argue as much as freaking Star Ocean 3's item creation. Oh my god. <laughs> But anyway, that's another story entirely. Mm -hmm. Alrighty then. Isn't he a free heal point yeah. uh, while you're here? Okay, I thought so. Make sure I remembered right. Because this place, you, you might actually need it. It's, it's, it's a bit of a place. <laughs> yeah, that's why I bought some paralysis cures and stone cures. Oh, yeah, I remember being victimized by that a couple times. Not my favorite game over rule. Game over if all paralyzed. Just... It still bugs me. <laughs> anyway, what's over here? Opera. Ugh, why does this place have to be so dusty? It's driving me. And no, she, she's actually wearing a, a jacket of sorts in her portrait. <laughs> Where's Mrs. Beakley when you need well, her? <laughs> we are in a cave. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Her line just had to make me think of Ducktales Remastered. Right. <laughs> have a point. Wait. Huh? Uh, wait. <laughs> I was about to say, uh, take notice. Back off! I gotta, gotta know how to use You're it. Flawed, right? Hey, what happened to the UP3 opera? Where's fate when we need him to argue about that? <laughs> oh wait, huh? Hey, wait a minute. This is why I recruited opera as Claude, because because of this conversation. Oh, of course. Marina wouldn't have a conversation like this, or, or uh, yeah, she would preview to it. You aren't from this planet, are you? Yeah. So. Huh? Wait, are you telling me that you are? Nope, he's as human as human can be. What are you doing here? You should know that the underdeveloped planet preservation pack for Which I don't think is what they call it in SO2, but anyway. <laughs> I know. But first this happened, then that happened. Oh, give the poor girl a break, Claude. Don't be like fate. What Please don't be like fate. Uh-oh. Uh, -oh. uh we'll discuss this later. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, folks. But we aren't in that kind of relationship. <laughs> Besides, we already have some. Uh, mm -mm. Although it's, the odd thing is that if you don't find My Ernest, Ernest she um, actually has a special, a special ending. Ran off into the frontiers of space and you can still have a relationship ending with her and Claude. So that's why I'm here. Which is interesting I'm if you ask me, but down his sure. Mm. Which honestly, wow, I'm not entirely against here? because oh. I'm not that big on Ernest. I'm really not. Yeah, me well. either. That's me nice, either. Right? As a character or in battle, I'm sorry, I just can't do it. Uh, a whip can be cool and all, but so he's not exactly Simon Belmont. Is in here somewhere? Uh -huh. But yeah, Opera came all the way he here for be. Ernest. She's that much in love with him. See? I can't say uh, I can't say that I blame her though. I don't blame her honestly. It's... Whoa. Judging by the remains, it couldn't have been destroyed very long ago. Damn. High caliber whip, sense. I'd say. So or some gold fashioned dynamite either way. But I don't think I can make it through here by myself. Well, that's why you uh, have off-worlder friends with you, hey, or a a off-worlder running away. You can have all the treasures. Oh, or damn! Thanks. Along the way. Uh, that seems like a fair price. Sure. Yeah, yeah, this should be fine. Sounds good to me. <laughs> you you would be foolish to decline. People don't do else? it. <laughs> well, they all got to chip no in on this. Here. They all they all get a chance to say their two cents. Perfectly okay by me. The reason is like, hey, more competition, more interesting. Ah. Well, there you have it. Welcome. Thanks, guys. 
You're really helping me out here. And no, so uh, she was reluctant about C uh, 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 Celine joining, but not Opera. Okay, Rena, whatever you say. Hey, wait, <laughs> Opera has joined the party. <laughs> Sorry, I just find that kind of funny. But in any case, uh, yeah, Opera is a long range fighter, even though she can fight short range. Definitely one of her long range, though, in my opinion, at least considering her, um, her, uh, her killer moves. Mm -hmm. I know I keep on killer moves, but uh, it's, just, <laughs> it's the same damn thing either way. Just, it's, it's, it's just uh, which translation you want to go with. That's um, all it is. Oh, and she came equipped with um, a sacrificial doll. Not to mention, she is the highest uh, not clawed person in the party. Wow, highest level, excuse me. Yep. Uh, save your special arts. I'm gonna have Opera in the lead. Anyway, let's see. What, I wonder what moves she starts off with. Um, actually, she starts off with Flame Launcher and Photon Prison. Uh, flame Launchers, of course, can be long range or short range, depending on where you're at. And Photon Prison is, I think, maybe like a stop spell or something? I don't know. I never used it that much at all. Oh, uh, first battle with uh, using Opera in the end, you cut it out. Damn. I, I'm, saving, I'm waiting until the boss battle. Because you know, eh, I've already fought these battles before. Well, it's not so much that respect that opera is, but it could make a novel, but fair enough. Oh well. Can't wait till she learns uh, Alpha on one. She learns that at level 24. Fairy statuette. Emerald ring. Oh, she's level 21, so she, she'll get it in three levels. And I also look forward to seeing her in combat because it's... Uh, it's been longer since I've seen her in the PS version and the PS1, so I don't remember how she sounds in this version. I uh, mean, her voice acting. Uh, well, you'll find out, I think, in the boss battle. Right, that's what I'm looking forward to. But yeah, she gains uh, five killer moves for special arts. It, it'd be a level up, but the other three you gotta unlock with Machinist. And those three moves are Refraction Beam, Healing Star, and Hyper Launcher. Healing Star is totally worth it, in my opinion, but granted, you have to work with it for a while. Yeah, pretty sure she has ele her pretty sure all of her special arts are elemental. Cause she gets a ice elemental one as well as a, a, a lightning elemental one. Huh, I wonder what element alpha on one is then. I remember that coming up. I think not I think non-elemental. <laughs> oh that's oh that's one of the non elemental oh, okay. I, I now I see what you mean. Anyway, okay. yep, I'm giving her danger radar. I'm pretty sure she needs uh that. Don't see why not. Let's see. We also. I think we're trying. We're trying to learn another. Uh, I think we're trying to learn another super specialty. I think. Let's see. Um, what else am I gonna upgrade? So, not to question RPG logic, but uh, how exactly is taking band class increase your agility? <laughs> <laughs> no, I. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know. It's RPG logic. I'm just curious. Is all. I just well, have to wonder a little. Well, you know, I know, well, there was this, that one time at band camp. Uh, no, wait, wait. Actually, I, I shouldn't finish that story. <laughs> Please don't tell us. I'm sure I probably don't want to know. <laughs> no, because no. I'm sorry. Open that door. I'm no, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It would have been a flute involved. Well, at least it's not a recorder. Damn you, crappy Boston. What the hell? What is your obsession with that nowadays? I just think it's funny how stupid some of them. Are. That and the fact that it, the, fa the only reason I went after one in particular is because Game Facts just had to do a stupid top ten list, and I'm like, this is their number one pick. I have to see if this one could actually legitimately be any good because the only one I thought was okay was Ben Drowned. No, I was disappointed. <laughs> Whoa! A single shot from an AP3 plasma launcher, the Firefly. As Damn, the Firefly. <laughs> uh. Damn, girl. Oh, that's heavy firepower. Gear he has. Out loud throughout the galaxy too, I think. <laughs> Cliff would be impressed, I'm sure, but that's that's the next Starship game. What are you talking about? Oh, 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 um, um, oh, um. I didn't say anything. I didn't. Say, you know, we're just verifying the cause of death here. Wait, since when did you two join CSI? Uh oh, you shouldn't know CSI either. <laughs> They're still alive. Eep. Aperture size. No, don't start again, Glados. Finish them off. <laughs> here we go. All we need to do is get through. Are you surprised? This is bad. Here goes. Let's do this. Here we do. Got you. All right. I'm, I'm, really? I don't remember being that slow. Oh hell. Well, she. You know what it reminds. It reminds me of playing Star Ocean Three with that uh one one scale bunny. Holy hell, that's slow. Yeah. What? Well, she has one of the slowest characters next to Ashton and the Mages. <laughs> slow. Get this poor girl some bunny shoes. Jesus. She can't move. Uh, bunny shoes in haste, please. 
Oh wait. Oh my god. I can get out and run faster than this. I feel like it's a Terminator 2 moment. <laughs> anyway, uh, these things, they're not that bad, but they do hurt. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the flame launcher. It's short range. Although, middle your speed isn't too important when she's using Alpha on once. It's such a uh, very long range move. Yep. But still. Ouch. Oh, it's stunned. I did not hurt me. Oh, but, yeah, but a short range flame launcher can do multiple hits. Isn't any good flame should throw should do. And for the finish. Oh. Oops! I'd say that was eight out of ten. Uh Yeah. So uh Claude, is it, would you like to tell something? Are you um I, I guess he's dominant. Okay, that that works. Oh what? Whoa. He's on top. Uh Sorry. <laughs> the game walks me into it. Anyway. Oh no. No. I'm sorry, Raina. Sorry guys. You were just trying to protect your home, weren't you? Mm. That happens with nature too, Look, yeah. <laughs> Where the asshole showing up breaking their home, so. There's not enough time in the world for that. I understand, Alfred, but sometimes. Much, uh, that that is true. Mean. Sympathy can get you killed. That's true, but it's not like we have to. We should have to kill our emotions You're just to be soldiers on the woman. battlefield. It cuts both ways. Well, I'll just say that. Waiting for me. I couldn't have made it this far without that sort of resolve. Mm. Let's keep going. Ernest might still be in here. Well, we can't all be Sarah yeah. Connor Opera, but anyway. Yep. Yeah. Anywho, she's two levels from Alpha on one. Or tracking plasma. Either or. <laughs> yep. She still needs to get determination leveled up. Definitely. Anyway. Uh, yeah, less less SP cost is always good. But make that your your highest priority, folks. Mm -hmm. The more ones you see here, the better. <laughs> Yeah, they'll give you a start on having the master art. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 Of course, making art is also another beast unto itself. Yeah, but it's worth it for goodie boxes. One more doodle and I swear I'm going to strangle her, I swear. But then again, getting, mastering is worth it for goodie boxes randomly. Oh, certainly. I'm just saying until that point, it can't be a little... Uh, a little tedious. Hmm, I could have I actually remember getting Sorcerer's Knuckles for Reyna in this story as well. I guess I was wrong. Uh -huh. Anyway. Alright, plot, what next? Well, we gotta go to the deepest levels of the Mountain Palace. It's like, it's definitely a maze in here! This Not yeah, it's uh, yeah, an amazingly not so great maze. Uh, can we just find the Minotaur already and get this over with? <laughs> nope. If only it could be that easy. Oh, that's that that room back there. Isn't that used in a in a scene for one of the paired endings? Yeah, or just Celine's solo ending. Mm, okay. Yeah. What's okay, a room I thought like so. this doing in the middle of a cave? Hmm. Somebody lived here for a while, it seems. At least that'd be my guess. A hidden laboratory. What was he doing here anyway? Eh? Are you saying he built this room? Well, obviously. Well, no, I don't exactly I think it's, think it's local. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I'm I forgot about that. King's private penthouse. Um. Yeah, see, see, the game walks me into these bad jokes. It makes I them think itself. It's the end of the cave, and it looks like Ernest <laughs> is nowhere to be found. <laughs> You're right. Now what will Well, I keep do? traveling with us. Well, we can always keep looking. What's well, what's the harm? Join our group. Yeah. Well, I'll be looking for him. Besides, you gotta do some PAs with mm. Opera as well. I could. And then we go to Linga. Actually, the one good lead, doing a certain PA with Maybe Opera determines whether or not she'll eventually leave our party or she'll stay with us. We'd be glad to help you mm, for yeah, I think I remember it's that. Besides, since I have Priestess in the party, that gives um, Opera an extra weapon. Indeed. Thank you, everyone. And uh, yeah. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Actually, if I recall, there w if I didn't have, I think I can't remember what. Uh, Try to remember what would happen. Um, I'm pretty sure if we if we recruited um, at Opera as Reina, and as well as Priestess, and we talked to Eleanor, um, Opera would actually uh, show Eleanor a rainbow with her new weapon. Huh? I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, it's known as the Seventh Ray. That does sound familiar, though, yeah. Yeah, it's actually hmm. light elemental. Makes sense. But, uh, but yeah, uh, 
if you did, if you recruited um, Opera and Priestess as Reina, which means you miss on game uh, actions hidden ending, you do get that little PA with um, Opera and Eleanor, which is interesting, actually. Sure. Mm, yes, I'm agree. Sure, we won't get to help Eleanor, but at least uh, there'll be that. There'll be that, yeah. Anyway, yep, haste and speech. Definitely, vi definitely vital for mages. Oh, I like Motormouth better. It was more. F I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't say that. <laughs> Quiet <laughs> silence, Motormouth. Watch. <laughs> what? You spent 2,000 oh. years. You spent 2,000 years looking for a tough snot. <laughs> Which reminds me, recently I was um, starting to watch the uh, Zero series. In my opinion, the last uh, good season of uh, Power Rangers. You mean anyway. Zio, Zio, not Zero. Did it? Did it come out of Zero? I'm sorry, Zio. Definitely Zio. Of course, the Zio Zero joke was made by King Mondo at some point, but. <laughs> Those zero zeros. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm a little iffy on uh, how much I like the machine part, but I at least like the uh, the guy with the very overt Scottish accent. <laughs> He's always getting blamed for everything. <laughs> it's just it's so thick the Scottish. It's like it's it's so over the top. It's funny to me. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, not to go off on another tangent. Uh, it's okay. Fuck we're, yeah. we, it's okay. We've already been we've already done development plot stuff in this part anyway. At least I'm feeling the space of these empty hall hallways. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, great, we're playing Final Fantasy XIII again. Oh, no, wait. No, wait, no, they're not, they're not that shiny. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> they're not that shiny, it's a legitimate maze, as opposed to just whatever. <laughs> yeah. And then again, I haven't played it myself, so I can't really form an opinion. My apologies. That's just my, my opinion for having played I, from I, my I, experiences. My, my opinion is only based on others' opinions, and that's really not fair. Uh, that's that. I can't argue with that. Yet. Then again, do I really want to be brave enough to uh, actually challenge that game? <laughs> I can't believe I was. I'm not sure. Who knows? Maybe I actually like it. Granted, I I'm kind of similar with Other M, but at the same time, I really don't think I want to play Other M to uh, well, that to, to that, found that, that, put a foundation for my opinions. Because then again, I actually liked Metroid Other M. <laughs> Which, which again, it's it's like Final Fantasy Thirteen. I'm not gonna judge people that like Final Fantasy Thirteen or other M. I, I judge the game, not the people who play it. That's not fair. Uh, well, I think it's the only thing I would judge is most likely the story and gameplay. But actually, no, there are elements of the gameplay and story I would actually defend vehemently. I, I, even in Thirteen, there are a couple things I thought were okay. So you know, I guess any game you can find something good about it. Uh, but, but then again, if we try to discuss it here, it's just getting into another can of worms. Oh, of course, of course, I'm not. I'm not. Especially with you. We're just talking, guys. Don't, don't, don't. You don't know, have to get too serious. They are involved in it. No, when no. I'm talking. Don't take me seriously, ladies no. and gentlemen. If anybody sees me longer than five minutes, knows that. No, I was afraid to hear opinions on a certain character. But no, I'm not gonna go any further than that. Otherwise, mm, yes. otherwise we're gonna have that discussion again. Oh, we don't need. We don't need a war between the channels. <laughs> no, no. Uh, anyway, we don't have to test this. For Reina. Anyway. Now then, let's get out of the Mountain Palace and do some private actions. I mean, if only this was a good Cestus, it would have a drain effect. But this is a new EO, so no dice. No. Go! Dice roll! That was so... Oh, God. That was... I fucking that... hated Dungeon Dice Monsters so bad. I tried to play one of the uh, uh, handheld incarnations one time, just one. Uh, I was so completely baffled I couldn't get anywhere with it. I'm like, and this means what now? As, Who? Huh? As, as, as baffled as how Yugi... I should know that I should say... Um, Yami Yugi was when he did that in that episode. <laughs> I just don't know how he figured enough. it out. Oh, oh hell, what are you? Uh, like, oh, enemies. Crush. I guess there was one enemy we didn't encounter yet, unless we already did. I don't know why I left this battle in. Maybe because it was a unique formation. I don't think it's very often you fight a, a, a full group of five enemies around here. Who can say? Bonk. Bonk. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, mm, tastes like burning. <laughs> yes. But he was crushed by my weight. And it still tastes like burning. Just don't make sense of it. Got ugly accessories. <laughs> and now we and of course now we're getting huge amounts of skill points. I at least like how Trice has a sense of humor. It, it makes the useless but kind of amusing accessories in both this game and the next. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's no point to him, but hell you get a laugh at it and then sell for a couple full, you know. <laughs> uh-huh. Think to yourself, and why are these enemies carrying these things? They have no purpose whatsoever, or they just just not even care. It's because the programmers just want something to do with so many <laughs> items. I know. I just think it's kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, that's the thing. If you're gonna make something that's not useful, at least try to make it funny so that there pretends to be a point to it. 
that in, unless I want to go for a perfect game, God forbid. Oh, Jesus, I don't want to think about that. Neither this game or the next. With item creation, God, no. I hate those kinds of games. There's no fun in them. <laughs> Eventually, you gotta stop somewhere. I mean, there's completionist, then there's just, you're going way too far. Then again, in Paper Mario, I'm trying to find all 16 super blocks, as well as do as many letter deliveries as I can. But, but definitely not going for every star piece, or every badge. Just, oh. That, that's pushing it. Although I am considering going towards uh, finding that game's ultimate boss. Well, speaking of badges, um, I'm certainly looking. F I was a little surprised, and I'm uh, thinking about time. I'm certainly looking forward to the Ruby Sapphire remakes. Same here. I, I got to see what they're giving us. I got. I got to see what they're gonna do. Well, if, new Mega Evolutions for starters. Well, of course, but I mean beyond the obvious. Mm -hmm. And of course, new art styles. And Brendan still has that ugly hat. Seriously, he writes me so much of Ed from Ed and Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that show. <laughs> that show. I, I love the movie. Take a, take a movie and so many other things to finally get respected. Anyway. Oh, Petty Priestess. <laughs> Robbie! Damn it, Rob! <laughs> Dang it, Robbie! <laughs> Anyway, I cannot do a Hank Hill, and I'm sorry I tried, people. <laughs> Born and raised in Texas, I cannot imitate Hank Hill. What is wrong with me? Or, or you can't sound Texan. We can, we can Both, work. yes. Oh, much. so just, yeah, you gotta talk to Opera, and then you'll trigger a, a scene when we go into the forest. And so, yet, would that make Ernest the Phantom of the Opera? Perhaps. She's, she's, <laughs> I mean, for you trailing the eye for a long time, like, is he even, does he even exist? Did you just imagine him? Is he real? Where the hell is he? How, man, how ironic you should mention that, because we, we'll be facing later. But that's not for a <laughs> while. Anyway, going back into Arlia, because, well, we gotta go into the forest now. Eh, if we're lucky, we'll find Woodman. Nah. I mean, Leaf Shield may be the greatest, but it's a decent shield anyway. Mm hmm. The Venerable Forest, once again. Alright then. Yes, there are monsters, by the way, in here. But they're very weak. Apparently not too common, either. I think I have Danger Radar on. I'll be scouting on. Huh? Whoa, check this out. Check what out? Uh, opera? Opera! <laughs> What's up? Oh! Well, what's it look like? My ship ran out of fuel. Ouch! This is what bad now. timing! You should have the refilled at the last before, gas station. So now I'm mm -mm -mm. Stuck here. Remember that last chance sign you saw? Maybe you shouldn't ignore it next time. <laughs> and yeah, that, may, that means both of them oh. are stranded. The same thing happened yep. to you, Claude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might say that, but I'm trying not to let them down. Coffee ham. <laughs> well, you, actually, uh, they Raina kind of knows already. Sorry. That. Yeah, he was brought here because of an well, accident. Oh well, that part I suppose that's yeah. Okay. She already knows Claude's from another world. Wow, this is crazy. What is that thing? Wait, huh? You see, you see, uh, Princess, we we have these things hey, called ships. <laughs> huh? What? She's not gonna hurt hey, herself. <laughs> this is pretty weird. What's weird? Hey, what do you think this thing is? Well, she found something that's of use to opera. That? Seventh Ray. It's a much needed upgrade for her kaleidoscope ray gun. And on the seventh ray, God created a rainbow. I'm sorry, that was a terrible joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My apologies, I was just being silly. I'm, I was not meant offensively. Anyway, yeah, I think we're going to equip the seventh ray eventually. But yeah, it's light elemental. I think it's kind of funny, actually. Uh, in the PS1 version, I believe she has a weapon called the, oh my god, Xbox. Yes. I don't think that was kept for this version. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Well, I think we'll find out when we go to the Hoffman Ruins later on. Uh, but then again, I I, that means I have to record more. Joy! Well, at least we finally make a progress that you can make for. Oh, Ruddle! Oh! Okay, this okay, this is where, how we can get the Scumbag Slayer. Uh, the, the only downside of the fact that I played Star Wars 3 before this, Ruddle doesn't quite feel the same without Rumina with him. <laughs> hey, Opera, what are you up to? 
Mm? They're like a very odd pair. But Nothing anyway. much. Just looking around a little. Uh-huh. Huh? Oh, say Claude, are you interested uh, in Uh, Claude? Oh boy, C making Claude a betting man. Oh boy. Oh, they are. Then okay. again, he is... Uh, oh wait, no. Well, yeah, actually, he, he's that sort of that age. Wait, is it 21 they're only allowed to gamble? The store is a man oh, or Claude, woman. please just remember that you gotta know when to hold them and right? know when to fold them. If I lose, then I'll do anything you tell oh? me. Oh! <laughs> please don't say that, Opera. Please. Yeah, sounds, yeah, sounds fun. Sounds like fun. Oh my god. That's the Great, spirit. see you at 8. <laughs> I'm the one who challenged you, so you make the bet for me. Who okay, 50 50 shot. Out of the shop next. A man or a woman? Um, is this random or predetermined? I honestly don't remember this PA. It'll be a woman for sure. Uh, I'd, well, let's Are find you out. Sure? Is that your final <laughs> <answer>? <laughs> <laughs> you think Philbin? Yep. Jesus, girl. <laughs> or Meredith Vieira? Do, 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 do. Well, no, if it's Meredith, I'm just thinking of the original, but. I'm pretty sure it was her last name. Yes, I believe you're right on uh, that. Oh. Which is funny considering Fraun, but moving on. I win. Uh, do, 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 do. Sure so, so, wait, does that mean he, he has to do whatever she wants? <laughs> town. No. The jewelry okay. store had a little of both, but there oh. were but men inside the weapon shop. Oh. Oh, so you had a good idea of how it would turn out from the start. Okay. I believe, Claude, you might have been yeah. hustled slightly. Uh huh. Choose first, of course. Oh, you did, didn't you? Yep. I sure did. So that's why. Um. I yeah. Hmm. <laughs> You've been hustled, my boy. Uh oh. Eh? So this was rigged. What do you know? Opera? I don't suppose the magician would reveal her secrets, would she? Opera. Is it only, only about 100 percent sure to go to win? I don't know about that, but you know what, Opera? I'm not a gambling man, so I am not oogie boogie. <laughs> oh, I'm a gambling man when I'm actually allowed to gamble. <laughs> then again, my luck is not the best. Sneakers, fuck that! Eleven. I know he didn't say that. I'm just being funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, where should we go to next? The Keister lives in my hometown. Remember? Wait, who, Keith? <laughs> Who's Keith? <laughs> Bandit Keith? Oh, Mars. Uh oh. You pretty just they're just my older than you do. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there could be a conversation going in like this. The only one person would ever talk. It's oh, wow! It's random. So is that phone call. Women really are from Mars, and yes, my damn phone's ringing. The thing in the world. Nothing else comes anywhere close. Oh, so we got it. Look, the symbology age is over. Okay, we're entering a uh oh, pre priestess, you may not want to talk like that. Well, that part I'm not against. It's just the idea of, of magic no being gone, necessarily. Oh, don't say that! Don't Except a damage limit. <laughs> there's technically damage limit, but... Yeah, yeah. Seriously, there's no limit? Oh, uh, yeah, there's only that's the only limit, but seriously... I hate... <laughs> I think you're the Trunchbull? <laughs> wait, yeah, wait, your super punch keep pulled up? Well... We all power has to be kept in check. Yeah, he's clocked Wait, up. what? That's why it's important you make machines safe enough for all kinds of people to use. Hmm. I, that part That's I can't argue with, sure. Way to put it, Claude. Of course, granted, there's almost no way to make anything 100% idiot-proof, but you gotta try at least. But yeah, I'm pretty sure if you choose the third option, you might get some affection points. But who can say? Hey, you, it's just a matter of preference, yeah. So yeah, I think, I think more or less I went down the, the neutral route. Oh, no hello, Ruddle. I didn't know. Interesting. Oh, hello, Ruddle. Harley, uh, well, you gotta go further east of here. Seriously, I, it just doesn't feel right without Ru uh, Rumina here. Wrong game. I know, I'm just saying, because I play Star Trek 3 first. Uh, that's one of the things that kind of makes SO2 a little different, but you know, for me. But well, look, at only. look at it. Look at some virus from uh, Kurik here. Yeah, they brought us uh, setting up shop here. Speaking of setting up shops. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Nope, we gotta go help uh, Ruddle out some more. Are those two gonna start? Oh, okay, I guess not, because they're the first two out. I guess Opera didn't have that many PAs here in this continent. But there anyway, we still gotta help Ruddle. No PAs here, but yeah, Ruddle is actually, uh, surprisingly enough, not in Harley yet. 
Harley, hometown of Mr. J. I, I mean the Joker. <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> uh, yes, that's that's just how I am. Ow. Okay, there. Don't feel better, folks. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't be a bitch, Boyden. <laughs> Not that she would ever say that, but I still like to imagine in that yeah. voice. <laughs> what the? What? Uh. How the? How can you be so bad with directions? I, I mean, I would legitimately like to know, Ruddle. You came by boat. Um, you need to chat my boat again. The town you left on the the, the, the boat came. That you, the Did you not boat. read the signs? <laughs> the boat that you took was in Harley, you fucking fool. Oh my god. That's why Rumina needs to be here. She kick his ass for that, and he'd never do it again. Uh, <laughs> double baseball. Do, 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 do. Wow. Yes. <laughs> the fail is strong with this one. <laughs> the, yes, the fail is strong. <laughs> and now, Ruddle, you and your directions will be voted one star. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> ah, there you are. Google Maps, buddy. This is the future. Oh, wait. <laughs> Scumbag Slayer! Most useful weapon in the game, asterisk. Not really, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, yes. Now we can finally move on. See you guys in part 20 for when we do go to Linga. Yes, we're gonna travel my boat again, head to Linga, and then finally we'll get an ancient text deciphered. I know, I know what Riddle did wrong. He needed a nicer boat. That's what he did wrong. You're gonna need a nicer boat, buddy. <laughs> Oh, enjoy your nice spell, you idiot. See you next time. <laughs> Take care, folks.